Hey guys, thank you for joining us today on the Pendant and Ring channel. Remember to like and subscribe, hit the bell to be notified of the next video. Today we have a how-to video. Um, we're working with rings like this one. We make these rings and then send them out and they always feel smooth to us. But sometimes when you wear them, the difference between your finger and my finger may make it feel like there's a burr somewhere on the inside or somewhere on the edge of your ring. So this video is about how to make these rings feel smooth or smoother or how to make them smooth again. And also how to make a necklace smooth, or how to make a necklace smoother or how to make a necklace smooth again if it has developed a burr. So what do you do? First, get the right tools. This is a nail file. You can use any nail file. Just make sure that the grit is not too much. This has a 320 grit and um, let's get this into focus here, a 240 grit. So you take this and some sandpaper. This is 150 grit sandpaper and I've just removed a small strip of it. It's really easy to manipulate with your hands. You can fold it, you can curve it, but really you don't need anything tougher than a 150 grit. And then from that, you're gonna go up to a 240 grit and then to a 320 grit to do this job. So first with the ring. If it's on the inside, you need to place the sandpaper inside the ring. You just fold it and then you pull the sandpaper through. You just check for any burrs, anything that feels uncomfortable on your finger and just pull the sandpaper through. Make sure to go in both directions when doing this. Now, as far as burrs go on the edges, you can rub the ring across the sandpaper like this and then check it for smoothness. Flip the ring over, rub it again and check for smoothness again. Eventually it'll be as smooth as this sandpaper can get it, this 150 grit. So then it's time to move to a finer grit. We'll start with the 240. You can get its focus. The 240 grit, and then we'll move to the 320 grit. So you'll do the same thing. You'll just rub the side of the ring against the file, and you'll feel it for smoothness. And rub again and file off any of the burrs. And then feel it for smoothness. And then it, when it's as smooth as you can get it, switch down to the 320 grit. Now this files too, but it also starts the polishing action. And it'll make it not only smooth to the touch, but it will also bring back that shine and get rid of any scratches that were visible from the 150 grit or the 240 grit. Now we'll do the other side here. Check for smoothness with the 150 grit. It may take a few times to get the ring just right. And then we'll move on to the 240 grit. Check for smoothness. Again, keep checking for smoothness. Flip over, get rid of any scratches that you can feel or that you can see, or just to make it extra smooth. We'll use the 320 grit. Checking for smoothness until you're satisfied with the results. Now, as you know, this is 150 grit sandpaper and that's pretty stout stuff, especially for working with jewelry. Usually you're not gonna use anything that strong. We're gonna stick with a lot of 320 grit items when working with jewelry. Sometimes though, it feels too rough and it's okay to start with 150. If your ring is very smooth and there's a tiny piece, then you can just use a finer grit. You don't have to start with the 150 if you don't want to, but you can. All sandpaper is really firm and so you can use it and it will hold its shape inside of the ring. And you just pull the sandpaper through. And you may have to do it 
10 times or 15 times, but it'll get really smooth on the inside. And that's what you're looking for. Now, when you use sandpaper to fix any burrs that might be on a necklace, when you're trying to make a necklace smooth, what you need to do is uh, find the burr, first of all. Find, look on the clasp, look through the necklace chain, find where the burr is. And once you found it, don't use that. That's too much, it's too, too strong. You need to start with the smoothest grade you can use. All right, so we're gonna start not with the 240, but with the 320 grit. The 320 grit file should get the job done just fine. The reason is because the necklace is made of, of much finer components. The pieces are smaller, so they're easier to damage and they are easier to fix. So going in one direction only, find the burr and slowly, carefully use the file and check for smoothness until you are happy with the results. Just keep checking, keep filing, going in one direction on the finest grit this is 320. You can also use higher grits, like 500 grit, but 320 really does a good job. We just use 320 if we see any burrs like this. And we check all of our stuff before we send it out. We check all of the necklaces and we check all of the rings, uh, but over time, sometimes burrs develop. And uh, this is one way you can take care of it at home. You can use a nail file on any surface too, regardless of the shape or size, regardless of the position. You can see that this clasp has a curve on the end. And by moving carefully, you can go over the metal and maintain the curve. Check the entire length of the chain and you can use the file anywhere on the chain or on a ring to get the job done. It's a great tool and it's a neat little tip for you guys. We hope you like it. Make sure to like and subscribe. Leave us any comments. Let us know what you think. Slow and steady, you got this. Take your time. And we'll see you next time on Pendant and Ring.